front of the line. Matthews collects it. Wasps get a real rumble on towards that corner. Saracens stand firm once again. Ball comes out. Picked up by Dan Robson. Looks to duck his way back inside. Three red shirts. Marshal him away. B. Yellow is sent away by Tommy Taylor. Driven forwards by that little pod. Rolling towards the line over and scored by Willis. How many movements? Charlie Matthews, Robson again, Umunga. In behind Crossdale. Runs down towards that corner. Crossdale has to steady himself. Kick up to halfway. Marcus Watson again waits and collects. Umunga inside. Umunga, little chip over the top. Beautifully collected by Umunga. Now he has support. Needed to use Willis first time, you feel. Tommy Taylor gets in there. Saracens flying through as that ball is untidily dealt with by Wasps. Flamont somehow kept it alive. Willis, Willis has support inside from Amonga. Gets clear of the first tackle. Amonga looks up, there are five alongside him. He's a power pass through the middle. And Wasps have a second try. Among this cross-field kick. Josh Bassett will go up for it and win it and feed back inside. Fekitoa, half away, still going Fekitoa. Dan Robson was in support. Fekitoa's going to go all the way. He's away. Just Alex Good to beat. Robson comes in. Fekitoa's there. Here's Tommy Taylor. It's totally loose at the moment. Kibarigi out in the corner and Wasps will score their third. Some champagne rugby being played here by Wasps so far this evening. Whiteley goes out to Singleton. Vunipola. And that ball is lost and it very nearly was picked up. And now Kibariki does have it. And Kibariki is away from Lewington, leaving him for dead and scorching through to the line for the bonus point score. His second was fourth and complete control for the home team. Line out ball collected off the top by Hunter Hill. Jackson Ray tries to pile drive his way over that gain line. Singleton, nice hands, Whiteley. Also, Vunipola keeps it alive out the back of the hand to Lewington. Lewington with support from Taylor. Taylor tries to fling it out wide to Crossdale. Crossdale should score. Wonderful handling from Saracens. For what already feels as though it may just be a consolation score, even though we are yet to arrive at half time. Advantage being played here. Lost forward by Saracen to Wasps with the ball again. Taylor, Umunga floated over the top. Watson into the line. Watson delayed the pass to Bassett. Just five metres short there. Duncan Taylor comes piling through. Sent out again. Umunga tries to chip it to Kibarigi. Ball, hold up of the bounce, Kikariki swivels away, just needed to go for the line, but feed shields for try number five. Helped along the line by Wasps, Watson, Kibariki dancing back inside, Kibariki away, Kibariki accelerates, lovely little shimmy there, Kibariki has support, Mamanga takes it round the outside, dives under the post for another scintillating score. Porter comes in. Umanga juggled around, but it won't. Forwards. Oh, great. Great support play. Brad Shields should be able to make it here. Bundles over the defence. Brushes Crossdale to the floor. And he has his second try. Wasps have their seven. Over to Yimbo on for Duncan Taylor. Here's Morris. Over to Yimbo is waiting outside there, but it's Alex Good who zips the ball along the line. Lewington accelerates through. There's his first try of the season. Falling it in, Cardinal. Good forward momentum here for Watts. Extra numbers arriving. Jimmy Goffert is there. He thinks the forwards have got this, they're over. 
And the try is scored. This time they have number eight. Is he quick? Quick ball down to Ben Spencer, who manages to dodge past one. Morris, in full of purpose when he's been on the ball. Ball is lost forwards, though, and there is the final whistle. A 50-point victory for Wasp Shatnerico. Their first since round three when they were victorious against Bath. Letanunga stopped at source. Wasp trying to disrupt as best they can. Taken up here by Henderson. Henderson's over. And they do have the points for all that early pressure. Great start from the Tigers. <laughs> oh, great for Wasps. To Gaskell. Yeah, another meaty drive like the last one, and they'd be up to the line. But Tigers have thwarted it very effectively. Lovely line from Fakatoa. Powerful, straight, and always, always with the try line in sight. Well, Gray waits. Thomas Young ready to go in tandem. No, no. Get round. Get round. Line is offside, seven. Penalty advantage here for Wasp. Seven offside. It's West. <laughs> He's over. Knowing they had it in their pocket. Tom West driving from close range. A try against Bath nine days ago. A try here at the Rico against the Tigers and Wasps in front. Just anxious moments these for Leicester. And Wasps now their line out routine. Young at the front. Shields and Barbaria onto it. This is Shields. Davia forwards out to the left. They go to the right. And it's Barbaria. Sneaky little play from Dan Robson and Barberi, the rising star in amongst the Wasp squad, has a second Premiership try and his first of the evening here at the Rico. Can Tigers hold Wasps from here? Gaskell with a penalty advantage, they played him in the air. Lee Blackett's men hunting down a bonus point try, remember. Here's Launchbury. Captain held short. Barberi again using all that power and reaching out for the score. Two for the evening for the youngster. Mills all oh, through the hole. That's magnificent from Fakatoa. And the link up plays great with Minotzi. Oh. And that is a fabulous try. Finished by Jacob Umunga. Straight off first phase. Quality. Charge down, charge down by Jack Willis, who's got it away. His partner in crime, Young, is there. Barberi again! <laughs> oh, my word! Hat-trick time for the 19-year-old. Stealing the show at the Rico. Wollstoneholm breaks and Watson's firing his way through. And Jimmy Gopless alongside him. He's got plenty of support. Looking for it is Cruz on the switch. Basketball from Wasps, careering towards the try line, and it's scored. Yet another one in the back. Great bit of work, and ultimately it's Sam Spink who touches down for what is now their seventh of the night. Advantage. Mills attacks the line, sends it wide for Douglas. Barberi lurking, he wants more. Hungry for more. Cruz slips it out the back door for Mills. Carnival rugby at times from Wasps. Wilston home ships it onwards. Here's Barberi again. He's got the offload. He's got everything. Kibberigu with the try. Made by Barberi, who's got a hat trick already tonight, but he's not finished yet. again yet three minutes into the reds another turnover 
Jimmy Roll. from the breakdown of Wasps. And the penultimate blast on the whistle from Carl Dixon. What an evening, what an evening for Wasps, what an evening for Alfie Barberi, and what a miserable evening for the Tigers, their biggest ever Premiership defeat. Full time at the Rico, Wasps 54, Leicester 7. Oh, and there's the charge down, and here's the opportunity. Well, the first error coming from Bristol. Willis powering his way forward. We've got Jack and Tom, of course, in that back row. First it was Tom, now I think it's Jack in there who gets the score. It is indeed an immediate impact. 15, Chris. Robson on there to go up the inside. And look at this from just Bassett. Bassett. Oh, he's got through the tackle. It's a second try for Wasps. These are so difficult to defend. They go to Rowlands at the front. Cruz already has his hands on the ball. We've seen it before with Gopeth getting straight in there to provide support. Along with Willis, along with Shields. And the arm is up from the referee. The try has been awarded. And it is Tom Cruz. You may well have heard the referee say it's short. But for how much longer? Short release. It was Shields that time. Oh, they've rolled over and they think they've scored. Time off. Yep, got you, mate. Um, my on field decision is try. I've got a clear ground then. Okay. I just want to make sure the tackle wasn't complete and he goes again. So we're checking for a double movement, but on field is a try. Okay. <laughs> try. Out there from Cook. That was done. Malins bursting through the gap and Malins has got there. In the end, he's done it all on his own. Malins with his hands on the ball again. Off he goes and he slipped through the attempted tackle from Gaskell. O'Connor back to Malins, back to O'Connor. It's not just the old one-two, it's the one-two-three-four. The former Wasps gets the score. Well, it's harem scarum, isn't it? It is a Wasps advantage. Vekatoa, Kibarigi, and Kibarigi has got through. There's Gopeth. A kick pass, Manozzi, it's a two-on-one. Kibarigi in space, always a dangerous combination. Robson inside, Robson takes it, and there's the try. Bind! Set! So Robson with the pudding. Tom Willis at the base, controlling it again. The arm is out from the referee, it's a penalty try. So Ian Tempest gets his name on the score sheet. Oh, half a palm to it, but not enough. That was uh, Kessel on from Malins. Here's Alapati Leua missing O'Connor. Adi Loken. You could just see with the first couple of strides there, he's got a fair turn of foot on him. As the former Connacht man and bursting through, and this is much more encouraging. Options left and right, and here's Malins. And Malins won't be stopped. They've already got long ago the try bonus point. In fact, it was 50 minutes ago that they clinched that. Hands up! Hands up! Now just looking to add to Bristol's play. There's the ball. You can see Tom West. Oh, spinning, and they got it down. It is another score. This for a try bonus point for Bristol. They're within two or three metres, the penalty advantage is there, they're claiming the try. And the referee has awarded it. Gabriel Ogre has the try line in his crosshairs. And Ogre is taken over. Has he got it down? He has.
shot! Another surge, they're just a couple of blades of grass short. Peter McKay was in there. And they do get the try. 94 points in the afternoon. But Lee Blackett will be the happiest of the two coaches. The momentum certainly building for Wasps.